While I was waiting for some steel to come in, I built a couple more magazines. I've got uh, two more shells. I've got one finished with the spring and the bottom plate installed. These comfortably hold nine uh, of these uh, 380 ACP rounds, and that's how I'm happy with that. So that's out of the way. Now for a little bit of a math lesson. My steel came in and it's a really beautiful piece of 4130 chrome moly tubing. It's got a 156 wall so this puts it at uh, 313 thou. I need to get to 353 in order to rifle it and that will make the perfect barrel. So in order to do that, a couple of steps. I got a couple of drill bits to move up the size and some reamers. First drill I'm going to use is the 2164th, and that's uh, 328 thou. And then move up to the uh, 1132, and that's 344 thou. And then finally, an S reamer. They didn't have a straight foot, they only had a spiral. See how that works. And that'll bring it up to 348 thou. So I'm still uh, about 5 thou short on this reamer and here's something that I used uh, reaming valve guides on my aircraft engine a number of years ago a little adjustable reamer you can just undo this nut here and tighten this one and you can move these out a thou at a time in fact it's recommended that you only do uh, very small cuts so you don't shatter those blades and then just hand crank it through with a with a uh, tap handle and I will bring this up to exactly where I want to go at uh, 353 thousandths. So a lot of numbers, a little bit of a math lesson there, and uh, we'll, we'll carry on from there. Some of the other steel I picked up with some, uh, again, 4130 chrome moly. This is 125 or an eighth inch plate, and I'm not sure if this will have any use in the project or not, but it's 190 thou. So we'll see how that works. I may have some purpose for that. So that's what it's up to now. Um, Going to cut the barrel and start uh, sizing it up. The plans call out for a barrel 108 millimeters long, and that is the uh, the commander that I'm building. So I'm going to make it 110 for now. I can always shorten it a little later. That's 110. make a mark with a file. There we go. Take the burr off.
drilled up the two sizes. I'm now going to do the S reamer to get very close to what I need for the uh, adjustable reamer. It's encouraging to see that the hole is in the center on both sides. I'm very pleased how that worked out. It was actually quicker than I thought. I was kind of putting off uh, drilling this barrel out. I just hate to ruin nice pieces of steel. But it really is quite smooth inside with that S reamer. And I'm really surprised at how close I am to the finished diameter of the bullet. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go to 353 with this. I'm very very close. Probably a little bit of run out on that reamer and I'm just going to by feel use this uh, adjustable reamer and just open it up just ever so slightly until I get a nice snug fit on that bullet case or on the bullet uh, diameter there. And then the grooves of the rifling will be about a thousandth of an inch deeper than that and that gives you the the grab on the on the bullet to give it a spin up the barrel as I mentioned before the way you adjust these reamers is you loosen that top nut and tighten the bottom one and that expands the the knives out ever so slightly and then it's very important that these go only one way on the cut. I found it a little easier to mount it in the vise. After some careful reaming, the bullet will fit right down in the barrel and almost neck up against the, the neck of the case. Very, very close to where it needs to be.